half four now it's time for me to prepare dinner i love it when i cook with you guys i don't do it enough i actually fell out of love with cooking ever since having arlo my son just because like being a family of four and sometimes i don't always have the time to cook like amazing delicious meals and i would always opt to putting things in the oven which is something i'm trying to avoid this year so i'm really happy to say that this portion of the video is sponsored by hello fresh hello fresh is a meal delivery service and they bring fresh food straight to your door i'm actually really excited to have this meal because my mouth is watering i've been looking at it all day long i'm just going through the hello fresh meal cards and all of them look really good let me show you guys my options one is the 21 day aged rump steak and pesto sauce that looks delicious second card is the spiced pork pilaf and mango chutney i think i'm going to be cooking the 21 day aged rump steak with pesto sauce this looks delicious it says that roughly it should take 40 to 45 minutes to cook this let's add some time let's add an extra 15 minutes because i am a mum, so i may need to go tend to the kids for a second but i will show you guys the end results once i start cooking i'm starving so let's get cooking okay it's time to get cooking one thing i love about hello fresh is that the food comes pre-packaged meaning that there is little to no waste i have found it so difficult since having my son to put down a packet of crisps and to pick up something much more healthier so i love that hello fresh and enables me to add more fresh ingredients into my everyday food okay this is the reality of cooking but you would think this was made at a mission star restaurant it's giving balanced diet this looks delicious i'm honestly starving so we're gonna dig in and you know i can't forget about amara as well she has the same things as us and i know she's gonna love this whether you're looking for quick and hassle free or a fun recipe to wow your guests then you can use my code jessiara60 for 60 percent off your first box and 20 percent off for the next two months plus a free gift and for my viewers who are watching me on the big screen you can now scan the qr code on your phones thank you heather fresh for sponsoring this video and happy cooking you know the one thing that i talk about on my channel quite a lot and that i have been doing for the last how long have i been on this app i don't know seven years individuality i've just not been in the right headspace if i'm being so honest with you and the main reason for that is because i have been all over the place mentally and physically i've been all over the place my house is a state like i've had to turn the camera in a way where you cannot see the mess that is in the background like if you don't know i'm moving i'm in the process of moving i move in like two weeks this video is back to basics getting back to basics and what that means stripping away from the perfectly curated videos and feeds even though i've stopped doing that for about over a year now just getting so honest with those of you out there who you know that you have a certain lifestyle goal in mind or you see yourself living a certain life you see yourself with a certain job and a certain lifestyle a certain day-to-day -day life that you do that you have that you've attained and you're sat in your current self like why am i not there like i know i should be there but i'm not there and i'm confused as to why i'm not there i'm here to tell you that we're all going through the same thing right now like i found a video on tiktok that i've never related to more like i was like are you me like are you me she was a mom of two she also is a content creator but she lives in la and she's just bought a beautiful home she's got an amazing partner like she's got an amazing life on socials but she's sat on her tiktok and just said guys i'm struggling like my lifestyle's all over the place i want to have this amazing morning routine that i used to have before i had kids but it's so unrealistic i want to be able to do x y and z but i can't do it because i want to be there for my kids but i also want to show up as a content creator i also want to show up for my partner and my friends and my family and i've got responsibilities and i can't be everywhere at once I've never related to something more and I think I've recently made a video on this if you're interested in watching it check it out but I'm currently at this point in my life where I'm just like I want to be everywhere at once but it's physically impossible and my body is relying on me to stay alive like my body's relying on me to stay afloat <laughs> my body's relying on me quite literally if you don't know I have non-epileptic attack disorder I speak about it not as much as i used to on my channel but i do have it i am still suffering with it and i will continue to suffer with it i don't know how long for it's something that has been all consuming recently and my health has not been the best in terms of i'm not eating the best food that i could be and i'm not cooking as much as i should be and that's to do with one of many things it's to do with you know i have two kids 
I cannot for the life of me sit down and think of what to make for dinner every single day it is just not possible for me I know for some people they can make it work and please if you are one of those people who sit down and think of what to make every day every night for dinner let me know how you do it because I really would love to be that girl but I'm just not an Ara Smith I'm not an Ara Smith sometimes you can do everything in the world that you're meant to do by the book and it still doesn't work out that's why I'm sat here today just to be like girl I'm struggling like it is hard it's hard I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I've got it figured out, like I can do it all. You can't do it all, you can't do it all. And that's ironically what my last video was about when I was talking about being able to be multifaceted. And yes, you can do it all, but it's just not possible. We're not made to do a million things at once as humans. It's just not possible. You can do it, but I don't recommend it. That's my follow up for that video. I feel like an octopus. <laughs> like I feel like I'm juggling a million heads, trying to show up for my daughter trying to show up for my three month old trying to work and be amazing for brands and create my own business behind the scenes and clean the house and just trying to do it all it's borderline impossible right now and moving has been a lot um, we haven't even moved yet but the thought of moving hurts my head <laughs> i am the type of person where my space means a lot to me like if my space is visually messy visually cluttered i will lose my mind i won't outwardly have an outburst but internally i will be screaming if my space isn't somewhat neat somewhat an organized mess you know and having kids i've learned that it just it's not going to be clean it's not going to be neat all the time but it needs to be organized <laughs> the slightest little bit it's not always possible and i'm just learning to come to terms with that with a lump in my throat <laughs> it's just it's a lot um so this vlog i guess i don't know it's just a compilation of whatever's been going on at the moment on top of me cooking and getting back into cooking and finding ways to make that work for me and my family and our lifestyle currently which is again difficult but we're navigating and that's the key word navigating i'm actually like about to edit some work <laughs> i'm like keeping myself busy the kids are upstairs yeah i need to drink some water because like i said your girl is feeling all sorts of shaky i don't know why that's something i need to do i need to do breath work i need to do some meditation some wusa because this is not a good way to feel i mean pathetic fallacy as well the weather is just not it in manchester right now so i'm gonna go we'll catch up um, hopefully when I'm feeling a little bit more chirpy. <laughs> So as I mentioned in the video, I'm pretty sure I put it in now, just me feeling like, I'm, I don't like feeling off. I don't like feeling all over the place, especially having the kids. I just feel so unorganized and so mentally unsure of what to do with myself. Like when my lifestyle routine's messed up, I don't like it. Like if the house is a mess, I feel a mess. If someone's routine is off, I feel off. Like I get affected so heavily with things these days. And I think it's just because like my health is not the best my iron levels are so low i think i mentioned this already my iron levels are so low i have so much anxiety over nothing these days and i just need to start doing some yoga some meditation going on walks like i cannot wait to move into this new house you guys like when we actually move i'll explain more um <laughs> but yeah i just i'm so excited to move also having a baby is so nice because when you're sad you can just not squeeze them but you know like i'm just giving him lots of cuddles please excuse my hair please excuse my makeup don't even look at that's all you're seeing my fingers look like stubs right now um because of how i've been feeling i've been feeling very anxious i've just been editing doing work and um, trying to email i've been on meetings picking my nails as i'm speaking i am gonna go and do my nails i know in my last vlog i said my nail techs did me dirty when they did my nails last time and they ripped off all my nails but i have to go back because it's not appropriate to be going around the world looking like this i film videos for a living anyway so i'm gonna go do my nails now boys just got back so i can have half an hour an hour to myself i'm also seeing my girl tasha tomorrow i'm so excited to see her i've not seen her in months since i gave birth to this one um i'm really excited to see her we're gonna go out and shoot some content then go for lunch at the allen in manchester i've actually never been there before um so it was gonna be nice i'm really excited and tasha is such a good vibe um you guys will see her tomorrow i'm gonna bring my camera i'm bringing my camera tomorrow i'm not playing i need to pick an outfit to shoot with i've just not been feeling the fashion 
like spring style vibes that I've been seeing on Instagram. The girlies on Instagram really have been showing up and showing up, okay? They've been showing up with the outfits. Me, I think it's because I'm in the mix of moving. I don't get dressed to go anywhere. I get dressed for the day, but that's about it. We changed the curtains to blinds again because if you've been in it from the beginning since I moved into this house, this house was filled with blinds. So back there, we put the blinds back up. This officially is not our house anymore. It's not our house anymore. It's starting to look like how it looked like when we moved in, which is so weird. Anyway, I digress. Let me go, sort myself out, and then I'm gonna get to the nail shop because they did say they're busy, but that they will save my nail tech for me. I think they're trying to redeem themselves. Where are you going? Oh my goodness. Hey guys. Rotted it messy in here. Back from the nail shop. Did my nails. They done me good this time. I had my original nail tech who, she's pregnant. She's like heavily pregnant. Last time I saw her, I was pregnant. So I came back and she was there and I was like, hey girl, where you been? You got your people messing up my nails. And she apologized and she's about to pop. So I said, babe, I moved soon. So this is the last set you're going to do for me. And she done me good. She done me good, you guys. Move out the way. Let's get this zoom on. Ooh, ooh. I'm feeling spring vibes, guys. It is warm outside. Family's in the garden right now. I ran upstairs because I need to try and put together an outfit for tomorrow. Cause like I said, I'm seeing Tasha, I'm shooting content. I don't really do the fashion content anymore, you guys. And I miss it so much. But like I said before, I've just not been getting dressed. Like I've not been, you know, like even my outfit today. Let me show you what I'm wearing. Literally just this <laughs> um, black sweater. And then these striped trousers that I got from H&M a while back, but the fit is a bit unflattering for me at the moment with my current body type. So hopefully it's gonna fit in the summer properly. But yeah, I've got this big bag actually. I'm gonna show you. I can't even lift it up myself. Corey had to pull up the stairs for me. Not me taking up my camera. Well, my cleats. Big bag. So I'm gonna go through them. I'm gonna play around a little bit and see what outfit goes. Anyway, let's go through these clothes. I'm just gonna put you guys on a time lapse. Morning, it's Saturday. I've just finished doing my hair and my makeup. I haven't done anything like too much. I was gonna do individuals today, but I just can't be asked. As you guys can tell, my eyebrows are a bit thinner. Um, I like to ease off a good amount the other day, and I don't know how I feel about it still. I still feel like I suit like slightly thicker eyebrows, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm not wearing earrings because I am about to put headphones on. I'm gonna take a car now. So I'm gonna get going and I will chat with you guys when I see Tasha. <laughs> Wind sweats. Hi. <laughs> Hi, girlies. I'm with Tasha. Hi, guys. My goodness. Okay, please tell me why. The second I step out of a car, this weather wants to be pouring down on us. And I was just saying yesterday, if you were in Manchester, if you're Manchester based, you would know the weather was doing us good. As and in, now we're here windswept. We're windswept. As in, I have to get my little cover. To my head oh, because... my goodness. We just quickly took some pictures. Turn out good. Yes, yes. But we were rushing. We were hesitant, yeah? So now we're off to the Allen. Yeah. I've actually never been to that before. I don't think I said that. Oh, I've never you. been to the Allen, but we were just now like scrolling on Pinterest and stuff for some inspo pics. And I'm excited. Yes. I'm really excited. We're going to get some food as well because yes. the girl's hungry. One shoulder. One with shoulder. A I see. Right here. Oh, that's cute. So I, I just thought it would be perfect. Is it with the skirt? Yes, okay. and then the skirt is from Naked Fashion again. I literally just picked this up. You know when you said that you were here, mm. I was literally un undoing all my orders, <laughs> like unpacking them, unboxing them, so I didn't get a, a chance to take any tags I off. See. But this is like, a oh, that's you. Slip. Oh, that's gonna be skirt. nice for summer, I imagine. Yeah, so these this weather. So, cute, cute, yeah. cute. I'll change when we get there. Again, right. life of a content creator. Honestly, we, like it's raining pros. harder now. It's harder. The things you do, okay, just remember your favorite content girlies, this is what they do. I'm <laughs> telling you. Nine times out of ten. I didn't even bring coke today, I'm sacrificing. I just want to take the opportunity as well, whilst you're here, don't forget to subscribe. I have to remind you guys because I don't know the percentages, but there's a lot of you who watch the videos, but you don't subscribe, girl. It helps out the channel a lot. There's dinner on the table and them things like that. <laughs> and subscribe to Tasha's channel too. Subscribe. I will leave it down below. You, guys, you guys, there are so many undercover hidden no, content real, creators though. out here. Who, I'm not saying they're better than the bigger ones, but nine times out of 10, they're more, hmm, there's more oomph, it's different. Whereas, you know, the, the same people, there's nothing new. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that. So 
support your smaller creators yes, please. because there's a lot of good content out there let's just say yes, there's a lot of good content out there see we're here driving around in the rain i'm okay my life driving around in the rain mm -hmm. hmm but it's okay i definitely agree with what you're saying majority of the times we see the same creators because they went through being a small creator yes phase. and now now they're big and then there's more up and coming yeah this place is so saturated like mm. so saturated the amount of dms i get daily just like oh what camera do you use how do you do this what content do i film mm. i'm like girl i think people think once they start mm -hmm. they're gonna like blow up like that oh, but sometimes for some some of us is amazing but then for others it takes years and years, years. Yeah, like girl. i've been doing this for seven years mm -hmm and only just started doing it full time last two years wow. before that it's just because i liked it yeah and now people's doing it because they see how much you can make a month not yeah. even per day per week yeah so i think if you want to do it do it for the right reason yes because yeah, yeah, you yeah. can get trapped in the loophole of trying to hey you're so close hey it's wobbly that that's safe <laughs> hey <laughs> What am I saying, girl? I'm confused. Big box came driving. I said, mm. okay, but you were saying um, a lot of the times people think it's literally you start today, tomorrow you're the next. You're on Billboard. Do you know? It doesn't Do work. Do you like know that. on TikTok, Monet McMichael? Okay, so I've heard of her, mm. I've seen her videos, but I don't actively follow, follow mm. her. But I, I respect her. She's that. a good example mm. of she didn't just come up. Like she's been making content and oh, really? I think one day people just like clocked onto how not just not relatable but just like they felt like they're on FaceTime call with their bestie. Okay. And okay. next you know people started emulating her content style of like doing the FaceTime style thing. Right. And now sis just had deal with who was it? Who she had deal with? She was on um Forbes. 30 on the 30 Forbes. for the content creators Forbes Forbes a whole Forbes Forbes wow that's a period I think do the damn thing I need to stop driving with my mind I need to get the sat now driving because with my mind I haven't had that one before because all of a sudden I'm getting lost and lost and lost but um <laughs> <laughs> so my name she, is she is an example of doing it for the right reasons and now sis is doing what she needs to do she went to fashion week wow She's working with big brands. She's coming out with her own collections for things. And I'm saying, yes, go, yes. yes. yes so like, yes, yes, just because yes. you see someone up and coming, doing a certain style of content, let's say, doesn't mean you have to emulate that. Yeah. I think there's a beauty in finding out what works for you. Yes. Experimenting with different forms of content and then figuring out what works. For me, it took the longest time to realize, I actually I actually don't like to do these the fashion, fashion hauls anymore. Okay. I used to love it, but the only reason why I don't love it anymore is because I'm so into the the comfortability aspect. Yeah. Because I think when I tried to do the fashion stuff again after so long, yeah. the response wasn't well, and that's because I wasn't doing it the way the other girlies were doing oh, okay. it. And people were like, why don't you do this? And why don't you do this? And I was like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. Like, if, you, if you want to go viral, there's ways to go viral. Yeah. Just do what's trending. Honestly. But at the same time, it's tiring because you get a load of followers, subscribers, whatever, from mm. doing that trending thing. Suddenly, so and suddenly. expecting you to continue that trending thing. Yeah. That's not even your thing. Nope. So now you're frustrated. <laughs> you're like, oh, I'm, I can do more than this. You know? I can do much more. But once, I think once people see you, yeah, in one form, yeah. they want the same form yeah. several times over. Yeah. 10 times for 10 years. Let's and then when you want to change, Turn right onto Charlotte Street. It's That's me. right. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like what you've done, like the way you've pivoted, because it's not it's not like too dissimilar. It's mm. very, very much like so relatable and I love it. And it's organic. The thing is, if you still wanted to throw a little bit of fashion in there, you still can. Mm -hmm. Because of the way that you've transitioned, it's, it's just like, way. oh, and this is another part of me. It's not like this is just me. It's just, mm. oh, this is another, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? It took so long to try and figure out that balance. Cause like, I think first I was known for fashion and then I was known for mummy. And then yeah. I was only known for mummy. And then when I tried to do fashion again or home, yeah. it was like, what's your kids? Or oh. what's your day in oh. life? No or way. what's this, what's that? And I'd have to try and navigate yeah. and say, guys, okay, this is life. Yeah. But then guess what? 
just how you like are you also like food yes. you also like to go to museums you yes. also like to dress nice so can i not do the same uh-huh. yes so i started trying to figure out how, ways how to do that and now i think i think i had a friend tell me the other day like you are you enca- encapsulate lifestyle content yes because lifestyle content is a bit of every, everything and you dabble into everything and so much more mm-hmm. so then when i want to jump into food content hey it's there by the way i can't believe it <laughs> look at where we've just come from i can't <laughs> we went the whole <laughs> we explored manchester girl I'm so <laughs> So we could have literally walked. Oh, uh, good chats take. though. Good chat. Good chat. I like this little car chat. I it was could be, say. It could be a little um, what's it called? YouTube video on its own. I know. <laughs> oh, girl. We're here. The, the rain vibes. We are here. Wow. Hello. Fun abstracts. Absolutely. a lovely day it is now nearly five o'clock ciao i've been out since half nine this morning to be fair i wasn't even expecting to get home at this time but i went to trafford after because i wanted to pick up some cute loungewear bits you guys know you shouldn't know about clothes. some cute loungewear bits for in the house because when i move i'm not looking to get dressed up and stuff. That's why I came out today to shoot content because I wasn't gonna, I'm not gonna do that much fashion stuff. Why was the whole world and then some at Trafford today? Then again, it is weekend, so can't really complain, but I just, I'm sorry, I got a bit overwhelmed. I'm sweating in there. I wanted to get out, so I got myself a slush. <laughs> and I left, so I said bye. I'm home now. I got these um, claw clips from Stradivarius. Stradivarius. Love that shop, by the way. If you have a shop there, check it out. It's really cute. But like I said, I was in and out. I did get one thing. I got these white linen-y type trousers. I was just going to get white trousers, like suit type trousers, oversized, that vibe. Compared to this, this looks more comfortable. So I got that and I got these clips that I'm about to try. But yeah, it was such a nice day. Tasha is such a babe. I love her so much. Her energy, her vibe is just 10 out of 10. We had such good conversations in the car. Like if you're a creative or wanting to be a creative, whatever that is, please do not make the fact that the industry is so saturated to turn you off it because it's such a fun industry to be in. Like it's so positive and the community you can build is really, really good and the people you meet is amazing and so inspiring but then at the same time the industry is a lot and don't make the fact that you're a small creative sorry i'm trying to balance this for the sake don't make the fact that you're smaller or a nano creative or whatever the fact that you're not doing it please because like we said there's people with bigger platforms who personally i think are just not overrated but you know i think it's been done before let's just say that without trying to dig myself a whole clock clip. I don't know how to do clock clips, babe. I'm just, just, just popping it in. Ooh, now that's not how. <laughs> that's um definitely not how that works. Literally about to take off my makeup because oh my gosh, I mean, I've sweated half. Look at that. I've sweated half of it off, and I just hate. I've said this before. I hate being in laces lifting. I'm taking this off baby. I hate being in the house with makeup on, with a full face like I'm wearing foundation and everything. I will insert pictures of my outfit. I think, I don't even know how much footage we got. We went to the island to have lunch. It was so cute in there. We were the first ones to come, the last ones to leave, okay? We took our time. We were chatting, we were eating, the conversations were good, the food was good, the drinks were good. The vibes were good, 10 out of 10, recommend. I'm so excited for these next few videos, you guys. Like, if you are subscribed to me on YouTube, 
you get premium content in terms of like when I move, you will be getting the most content to do with the house. Cause I love you guys. I'm really excited. Like we move in two weeks. So I'm debating what to film up until we move. Like, do I film the like packing up boxes and doing touch-ups to this house, like painting and random jobs there? Or do I wait and then just post the moving vlog? Let me know in this video, comment down below what you're wanting to see. The Home of Jess series is coming back as well. All things interior design decorating. I'm the plans I have for this series, you guys. If you thought you liked Home of Jess currently from what I did to this house, I promise you you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it for the next house. Like I'm going above and beyond. I am really getting into home interior design, that whole bubble across all platforms not just like on youtube but if you know me if you've been here for ages i love interior design and i sorry let me stop doing that i just want to use this platform more to push my creativity because i'm a creative girly and i feel like i don't do that enough like actually i want to actually actually before i end this vlog i, would, I do want to address a, com a few comments i've had um, in my DMs. I addressed this over on Instagram already. I had a couple of girls who have been following me for ages just essentially say that my content's changed, that it's not as inspiring or creative as it used to be and how I always post mum content and they're not a mum so it's not relatable and how my content's just boring and mundane basically. But then they said that they continue to follow me because they don't want my numbers to drop and they don't want my following to drop. And I had to address that on my main like story. I wasn't just gonna send them a DM to respond because I got it quite a bit. I still do every now and again. And I'm not taking that as hate because I do completely understand where people's coming from when they say that, you know, I'm not as creative as I used to be. I don't post spontaneous content and this is that. But of course, because I have two babies, I am a stay at home mum. I, yes, do this full time, but I've switched to lifestyle content. So I post lifestyle content predominantly. That means everything in my life. That is my skincare, my home, motherhood, parenting, fashion, style, food, everything, you know? So I don't post creative, fun, abstract videos anymore simply because that's just not what I enjoy posting anymore. And I'd rather post something that is actual content that you can be entertained by, educated by, or inspired by. And I'm just not here for that, I don't know. I don't do the same. Do you get what I mean? Like I'm not the same girl I was two, three years ago, obviously. I'm in a different phase of my life. And if that doesn't relate to you anymore, I completely understand, babe. A lot of you have been here for a while across all platforms. More than happy for you to unfollow, unsubscribe, because I said this on Instagram and I'll say it on here. You're doing me more harm not unfollowing me then follow me, does that make sense? So if you're not engaging with content, but you're still following me because you don't want my numbers to go down, that's doing me more harm on my platforms because my analytics look weird if I just have people who follow me but don't engage. I hope that makes sense. Again, no hate, I just want to address. I just can't wait for this year, even though we're in April already, which I don't understand, but I'm just so excited to go down a different route won't say too much, but I'm really excited to go down a different route and just explore more and discover what I like because essentially that's what this is, is discovering what I like. And if you know this already, you know, you get my whole rawest, rawest, that's not a word, but you know, you get my whole pure authentic form on YouTube because I just talk with you guys in chat and you guys know me, but that's all hmm? stop talking because i will talk forever thank you so much for watching this video you guys and thank you so much to hello fresh for sponsoring this video the food was delicious by the way oh my goodness i have more meals coming next week but guys i'm so excited for the home adjust series let me know what type of content you want to see on my channel i will love you and leave you i will see you guys in the next video